Welcome back to Semtex Home Repair. I am your host, Bob Villa. We find ourselves back on the beach of Canarthi's Roost, while our guide, Dumbledore, has fucked off to parts unknown. Our only hook is to help out a group of Aldmeri Marines. Of all possible people, I'd think the Marines would be the least in need of assistance while making a beach landing, but those broken ships in the background seem to tell a different story. No, no, okay, don't panic. This is just because I've been resurrected without my crazy pills. And it's got a quest marker. It's like catnip to my kind. Stop. Stay back. Man, if I had a nickel every time a woman told me that. Heed my words. You endanger more than your life should you approach. Sheesh, can't take ten steps out the front door without tripping over something dead in this world. What's your story, Morning Glory? A fool who paid the ultimate price for ambition. But I would see none fall as I did. You must leave. The book before you is cursed, as are its two siblings. Can't you hear it call to you? Lady, I'm talking to a ghost right now. How much trust do you think I put on my own senses? Then perhaps you're strong enough to resist their call. If you find them and bring them to the shrine, you might finish what I could not. Please, I beseech you. The books are a darkness that must be erased from the world. All right, tell me what you need me to do. The curse upon each tome is designed to feed souls to oblivion. But if you are able to resist their pull, you can collect the tomes and bring them to the shrine for their destruction. What shrine? On the shores of Canarthi's Roost, beyond the town of Mistral. It is lit by an ever-burning flame. Should you collect all the tomes, bring them to the shrine without delay. No matter how strong you believe you are, I fear the tones are stronger. Thanks for putting your faith in me. I know I can count on you in the next election. So we need to find Mein Kampf, Dianetics, and Twilight in order of increasing evil. Soul Shriven. Yeah, I wonder if my shriven state is the reason why I could read these books with impunity. I'm actually going to read the first little bit since it's directly involved with the plot. The Soul Shriven. Shriek and writhe in Cold Harbor. Ooh, that's me! The harvester of souls digests them, makes them mutter in despair. They whisper their secrets to the dead winds of oblivion, and those with ears attuned will know them and use them. And the rest of this is just using alchemy ingredients to purify a needle, stick it in a body's ear, and use it as a human seashell to listen to the whispers of the dead. Creepy. Harder than expected. See if it was worth it. What the? More ghosts? How often does this happen? Now you die. What the shit is going Not on? Not now. Not ever. The fuck was that? Is it like Changeling? Is there just like another world overlapped on this one? God damn, this is weird. I'm gonna take my aggression out on you. That's it. Give up the goods, Mickey. Ah, yes. The rat was carrying little rat gloves that, when worn, are bigger than the rat. Gotta love it. Wow, I was still wearing handcuffs. I just had, like, four conversations with guards while still wearing broken handcuffs, and none of them batted an eyelash. Oops. What? Of course I sneak attacked the rat. I needed the bonus damage. You know, I wonder if my soul-shriven state is the reason why I could read the Necronomicon and not get hurt. Speaking of which, if the lady who gave us this quest got her soul sucked out, how is she able to appear as a ghost? Huh. Well, I guess my quest journal trusts her implicitly. Oh, hello there. Isn't that a curious tent? I brought my juggling axes. Hey. Hey there, you guys having a little party, huh? <laughs> Isn't this a little disrespectful? Like, there's been a fucking shipwreck right up the coast. People are dying, you guys are just having a party. Sorry, can't be bothered. Not gonna volunteer to patch people up at least, or... talk to the sick and the wounded, or... anything. Nope. Good time for a show. Okay, I can get behind this. Frickin' bards. Please join the festivities. <laughs> wow. My sister, she dances. Nindir plays music from distant lands. Even Hainab plays a wonderful fool. 
When he stops drinking anyway, which is never. I like this guy already. Easy salvage. The storms wow. like half a dozen ships just off the wow. coast. Wow, they're just and looting as the soldiers are coming up shows. the beach. Stupid and brave. Oh, we would be. But Hynab finds half a keg of Almeri brandy, and suddenly it's awesome. a new moon's gal. <laughs> if we don't get out there, someone else will. A bunch of soldiers get shipwrecked, and these people's first instinct is to rob their booze and get drunk. I love Khajiit, I really do. Ah, oh, what have we here? Alright, and here we have our first not quest-related lore book. I definitely recommend that you guys read these things. If you want to, you can pause the video right here. I'm not going to read the whole thing out loud, but I definitely recommend to you that you do read them because I can tell you the majority of these are very well written and they've definitely improved my experience of the game. This one is called Sugar Bellies and it's about the local tigers. These guys. I think he might be a distant uncle of mine. This is the fucking way you sell video games to chicks, I'm telling you, man. If you got a girlfriend that plays this game, or you think might be, this is an excellent faction vector. Show them the lion, and the cat people won't be able to resist. Greetings. You know, I've got a pole back in my place. Mm -hmm. No, never heard of that? Oh well, it was worth a shot. <gasps> is that a mud crab? <coughs> oh, the nostalgia. Aha! I finally found the one wounded marine that I needed to speak with. Can any of you hear me? Where are you? Hello. You there. Have you seen my squad? Never seen your squad, never heard of your squad, and we're complete strangers, but since you're an NPC, how about you volunteer your entire life story, eh? We were all in the little Alkosh. There, you see? Of the Dominion fleet sailing for Kanathi's roost. Then a hurricane blew up out of nowhere. Sails tore, hulls cracked, and we were thrown into the ocean. I ended up here. I can't find the rest of my squad. Do you think they survived the hurricane? I thought I heard one of them calling out. But the ocean twists up sounds. If they're wounded or pinned down... Could you keep an eye out for my soldiers? They answer to Edelus, Onglon, and Nistel. Oh, but seriously, what are their names? Oh, you weren't kidding. <laughs> well, sure, I'll help. I'm sure my squad made it to shore alive. Dominion Marines constantly defy the sea's attempts to drown us. But hurricanes have another matter. I fear my squad is banged up worse than I am. The majority of my medical knowledge comes from watching Dr. House. So, uh, what do you want me to do? Our ship's hold was packed full of an old Bosma healing remedy. The labels say Torchbug Treacle, but Marines call it Glow Juice. The wreck scattered bottles across the beach must be what brought out the aelids. And what are aelids? Squat creatures made of teeth, claws, and endless hunger. I've heard their cries up and down the beach since I came to. Their sweet tooth is bigger than their walnut brains. I saw one of the stupid things swallow a whole bottle of blow juice. All right, I'll do it. Good luck. Do me a favor. If you find them before I do, tell them the ocean hasn't killed me yet. So these marines have had the worst luck since Oedipus. They get caught in a storm and they're forced to land on a beach where the locals are only interested in looting. And even the wildlife is eating their medicine. I guess God was too busy delivering Oscars to movie stars to deal with this shit. Alright, looks like I found the first bottle of cockroach jizz. Now I just have to find a willing throat to pour it down. Who's gonna be our first contestant? Will it be you, sir? Glow juice? You find some? Hey man, you got any more of that bug jizz? It's so good. So good. <laughs> anyway, Sergeant What's-Her-Face is still alive. She said something about the ocean. Alive? Good. That's good. Wave smashed me against the ship. Uh-huh, that's ribs nice. Tastes like sandals boiled in mint perfume. But if it knits my ribs, I'll drink the whole bottle. Yeah, drink it! <laughs> I'll go look for the rest of your squad. Good. I'll find Sergeant Firion. Go. Get them back safe. Well, that guy doesn't sound much like the Marines that I used to know. The guys that I know would have drank anything you put in front of him without complaint. Hell, back in the day in the Navy, when an important admiral died, they used to embalm him in brandy. 
At least until the crewmen figured out a way to drink the embalming brandy by using macaroni. Now they don't do that anymore. <laughs> There's so many players around that I'm having difficulty finding a treacle that hasn't been taken yet. Oh, there we go. Mine, 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 mine. God. Holy shit, where did you come from? When did you come from? Holy crap, we've got dinosaurs in the medicine supply. Run for your fucking life. Oh, lady, do you have any idea what I had to go through to get this medicine? Did you find any glow juice? I got some sand in my wounds. You've got to be fucking kidding me. Anyway, Sergeant Lannister is still alive. I saw her swept over glow juice. Used to think this stuff was only good for practical jokes on snowy days. You're not a marine. Once I can heft spleen shanker, I'll push through the beach and find Sergeant Ferian. How about you? Hope they appreciate their good fortune when you find them. I can get inland after I rest. Fight with purpose. You're not fooling me, lady. I bet you're one of the pirates. Or at least I would have thought that if your sergeant hadn't mentioned you by name, but still, can you believe it? I should have given them the pirate test. It's foolproof. You just tell them to pronounce the word cellular, and they go, Cellular. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, bitch. But I'm not a pirate. Yes, you are. Ah, oh, shit, I'm doing it now. <laughs> Lieutenant Gellin dragged me out of the water. He'll want to know Sergeant Virion and the rest of the squad are all right. I think he said something about looking for shelter in a nearby cave, but I was still coughing up sand. Oh yeah, and the sergeant also told me to tell you to give me all of your armor and equipment. You're not gonna question orders, right? Come on. Damn it, that never works. Anyways, we now have to meet these jokers in a cave. What could possibly go wrong? I guess you'll have to find out next time. See you guys and gals.